hello all uh, i hope you are fine today we discuss about increment and decrement operators in c program let's start with the introduction of operators what is operators operators are generally used to perform various operations on different operands these operands may be a variable or a constant so on different types of variables and constant we perform some operations and those operations are performed by operators so operators treated as a functions to perform different kind of operations in c operators are categorized uh, in different types such as here arithmetic operators arithmetic operators are those uh, which is used to perform arithmetic operations <coughs> like plus minus division multiplication and modulus these operators are called binary operators because it requires at least two operands or at least two arguments on which the arithmetic operations have to be performed similarly we have relation operators which is used to compare one or two uh, sorry two or more uh, operands so the relational operators also binary operators because they compare two or more than two operands so the arity of these operators are two so the arity uh, is uh, the minimum number of operand required for any operator is called the arity so the arity of the relational operator is two then we also have a logical operators which have some logical and logical or operators and bitwise and bitwise or operators are also there which perform the operation on the bits of any number or any data type then in next category we have increment and decrement operators these operators only require one operand and that's why they are called unary operator we will discuss about these operator in detail in our subsequent slides then we have assignment operator assignment operator uh, is used to assign any r value to some l value so the left hand side of the assignment operator generally contain the address on which the value have to be modified and the right hand side of the assignment operator contains those values which uh, would be computed or which will be directly assigned to the l value part then we have conditional operator conditional operator is also called ternary operator uh, so only one conditional operator is available in c language now let's uh, have some demonstration about plus operator so if in uh, c some statement is written as like int c is equal to a plus b so in this statement uh, the a and b are operands and plus is a operator so the operator plus performed on a and b and the result would be stored in the variable c so this is the one statement in c terminated by semicolon so anything which is terminated by semicolon is called a statement now we can also say that this plus operator have two arguments if we think about uh, plus operator as a function then this function have a two arguments one is of integer type another is also of integer type these two arguments are added to each other and the result of the same would be returned and is stored in another variable in some other memory location here it is c now let's discuss discuss about increment and decrement operators so these operators increment or decrement the value of any operand by 1 so we have four combination of increment decrement operators that is pre increment pre decrement this pre increment and pre decrement immediately affect the value of the operand on which it is applied we also have post increment and post decrement the value will not immediately affected but a flag is set and after the statement is completed the value of the operand would be get affected 
so the value will be affected after the statement completes in case of post increment and post decrement operators for example uh, let's discuss about the post increment and post decrement as well as pre increment and pre decrement operators so here we have taken two variables integer x and y when you declare a variable like this integer x it means a value uh, a memory of uh, size int would be allocated in the memory and we assign a address to this variable so this names x is nothing but a address names so variables are nothing but a address names on which the value would be modified similarly we have integer y in which uh, which is represented which can be represented as this we have an empty size of block suppose in this particular situation i consider that integer take two bytes then this particular block of two bytes with the address 200 would be allocated in memory so the first two statements would be represented in memory by this way this uh, blue block represent the size of the block and in the below we denote the address of the block now when you assign some value to these blocks x is equal to 5 or y is equal to 2 uh, we also say this statement as a initialization statement so we initialize 5 to value uh, to the address of x and we initialize 2 to the address of y so these x and y are nothing but the addresses here let's demonstrate the four combination of increment and decrement operators so initially uh, suppose uh, because we uh, assign the value 5 to x and value 2 to y uh, I apply four combination of the increment and decrement operator on these two variables first let consi let's consider we have four types of variables to store the outcome of the operations a b c d for those variables similar uh, notation would be there we assign two two bytes of blocks with their names and the address values so suppose here the address values would be 300 400 500 and 600 the first statement which is shown here denotes that the value of x is pre-incremented because the value of x is pre-incremented the location 100 would get modified so at this location the value of x would now become 6 because it is pre-increment pre-increment means immediately the value of s is increased after the value is increased we assign this value in a variable a so the value at memory location 300 will also be affected so we will see what is the outcome similarly in second statement b is equal to y plus plus the value of y would not be incremented immediately but after the statement completes after this semicolon completes the value of y location that means value at memory location 200 would be get affected so the b val variable also store the value which is not get updated because the v variable assigned a value before the semicolon so the statement would not be completed right now that's why the outdated value of b would be assigned in variable b so let's see the memory diagram here is a memory diagram at memory 100 that is a memory of x the value 6 would be updated similarly this 6 would be updated or copied into the memory address 300 due to second statement because it is a postfix statement the value would not be updated in y similarly the b value also copied the same value at this time that is 2 after the statement completes the value at the memory address 200 would be affected so now after this the value would of y would be 3 again if we have the value c is equal to minus minus y it means pre decrement of x 
it immediately update the variable of at the memory location x now at the memory location 100 the value would is 6 now it will be 5 similarly at a memory location d that is at a memory location 600 the value of y is post decremented means whatever the value of y means the value of y at this time would be 3 the same value would be copied to the memory location d so the memory demonstration of the same is would be like this the x value would be updated the y value would not be updated because it is a post decrement the value of d is copied as it is as the value of y the value of d would be put as it is after this statement d is equal to y minus minus because as the statement completes after this statement the value of y would be updated so here the value of y would be 2 so this is the small simple demonstration of increment and decrement operator how they behave and how they work now how to evaluate the expression using these operators so to evaluate any expression which is a combination of uh, increment and decrement operator along with some arithmetic and other operators are evaluated based on their precedence level as well as the associativity of the operators in this slide we only focus on some of the operators so the higher priority uh, in the precedence table is of the postfix increment and postfix decrement and the associativity of the same would be left to right similarly the second priority would be given to prefix increment and prefix decrement and the associativity here is right to left the arithmetic operators come after these two operators so that third priority we have different types of arithmetic operators like multiplication division modulus operator with the priority left to right then we have plus and minus with the priority left to right then we have direct assignment with the priority right to left now because in the uh, case of expression evolution since uh, there is a point here since the increment and decrement operators modifies its operand use of such an operand more than once within the same expression can produce undefined results so if your compiler is not optimized you may got some undefined results so here we take an example for an expression evolution in this example we take a value of x is equal to 5 and we evaluate a expression of x and assign a value to y so let's discuss how the value of y would be updated so initially the value of y would be a garbage value then we have this expression x plus 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 x plus x in this expression we can think this expression as a three parts in those three parts uh, and uh, those three parts would be added by plus operator because the plus operator have the associativity left to right so we evaluate this expression in left to right manner so the first one would be x plus plus so in this x plus plus because it is a post fix increment the value of this part would not be get affected immediately uh, so we put 5 here as it is then the value of x would be affected due to pre increment and the value would be 6 here then the same value would be there in the next statement have the same value because it is already incremented the value of x would mean uh, uh, due to the postfix increment is incremented after the semicolon is over so in gcc compiler or in any c compiler whenever expression is evaluated first uh, the expression is evaluates prefix and postfix statements after that other operators are come into picture so in this statement postfix and prefix operators are evaluated first after evaluation the value at a memory location x would be updated so these operands or these parts of plus operator would 
fetch the same value which is updated at memory location x. So we can think this expression as a combination of three blocks uh, to which the value 6 is assigned. So here also here is value 6 is there in second part also value 6 is there in third part also value 6 is there. So the addition of these three would be 18. So the value of y would be 18 which is get printed here. So when you print the value of x it would be 7 because in this statement the value of x would be incremented twice and after semicolon both are affected. So the x value would be 7 and the y value would be 8, 18. Similarly, I can think this expression of z as a three compartments in which first compartment evaluates the post increment, second compartment will evaluate the post decrement and the third compartment will evaluate the pre increment. And the combination of three uh, compartment would be result in the value of z. Here I print the value of y and z. So it's better to uh, write this code and try yourself that would be better. Now <coughs> this is how in C we evaluate the expressions. Next is how to evaluate uh, the expression in case of printf statement. So printf statement have uh, undefined behaviors in different different types of compilers. I just consider only one statement uh, of printf to understand the undefined behavior in two types of compiler. One is your GCC compiler, other is your base C++ IDE. So in this example, we have x is equal to 5 uh, and in printf statement, I just uh, uh, print uh, 5 arguments. I just give 5 arguments. Uh, based on the combination of uh, increment and decrement operators. In this five argument, I put x plus plus, <coughs> x minus minus, plus plus x, minus minus x and x. Because printf statement always evaluate any uh, argument passed to it in the right to left manner, the uh, argument evaluated here is also evaluated in the right to left manner. So, first in case of GCC compiler which is an optimized compiler, the value of x here is 5, then it is decremented that is the value of the same memory location would be 4, then it is incremented, it become 5, then it is post decremented, then here it is 5 and because it is post incremented due to this flag of post decremented the value here would be 4. So the uh, when your pointer reaches here it will print the 4 as it is like shown in here then we due to post increment here the value would be 5 the 5 would be printed these expression is already evaluated so the value of the 5 is put as it is the updated value of these memory location would be printed. So this is the optimized compiler that's why it takes the updated value of these arguments. While in Turbo C++ it does not include the updated value. What it does it just evaluate and print the value. So at this argument fourth argument would be 5, fifth argument would be 5, the fourth argument would be 4 because of pre decrement. The third argument would be 5 because of pre increment. This argument would be 5 because there is a post decrement and here the value is decremented of previous argument that is why it is 4. So the same order the value will be get printed. That is why we say that your Turbo C++ IDE uh, does not optimize the code that is why this is the result 4, 5, 5, 4, 5. And for the same code, your GCC compiler would give 4, 5, 5, 5 and 5. So you cannot uh, uh, analyze the undefined behavior of this type of expression. So uh, this is how the things are going in printf statement. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand uh, about uh, increment and decrement operators. If you have any doubt, any queries, then you can put comments or otherwise you can also share it and like it. Thank you very much.